head, Obama loves They call me P-R-O-P-H-E-T I count up all the thoughts I see I hit her for premium Snap and ask her for some pics of feet What? She looks shawty Asian bitches, man, they made me so horny Put it in a booty and I'm recording Call me a simple little bitch, I'm reporting I got one, two, three, four Traps and they got asses I got one, two, three, four Bags they in the back And young, he call me up and say He got some shit that ain't whack I told that bitch to go away And then she start talking back She sound like Kimi na yo, Kimi na na yo That means I got all these foreign bitches and they on they knees. Call me a rice farmer cause I'm planting seeds. It's hard to tell that they're a trap when they're Japanese. They got small eyes, thick thighs. Man, I hope that bitch buy till she open up them legs and oh my god, is that a guy? MC God is what they call me. All these traps, they really want me. Eat my balls like end mommy. Coming fast, you can't I got one, two, three, four traps and they got asses. I got one, two, three, four bags. They in the back and young, he call me up and say he got some shit that ain't whack. I told that bitch to go away and then she start talking back. She sound like Kimi na yo, Kimi na na yo. Oshiete kureta. Kuro yami mo ikaru nara. Oshi sora ni naru. Kanashi ni wo egao ni mo ukaku sa nai ne. Kira me kuto na hoshi mo kimi wo terasu ka. Get another case done. Nighttime case. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. This is the second time we get into Mace Cave. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there will always be killers in this town to send. That's a fact. You can't catch everybody. That's that's literally impossible. Greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop? It's raining though. That builds up the atmosphere.
First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Don't worry. Got home run coming in soon. Ooh, the drift. I'm eating Cheetos, by the way. Gotta love me some Cheetos. Not Cheetos, Cheez-Its. My bad. Disrespecting Cheez-Its. It's like you want to change it, huh? That guy there will lead us up. I'm stealing myself for what I'm about to see. That'll just be another dead body, partner. We used to sing them. They're the gig when you're working on homicide. Nah. If it's another naked body, with some writing on it, it's the same. I'm telling you, it's the same roof. I don't think it's one person. It's the same group of people. All these people we've been catching are part of this. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Uh. Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, of it's rope. triple braid again. Of course rope. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Hmm. They're trying to switch it up, no. I'm trying to switch it up now. Nothing significant. Nothing, sir. It's five dollars. Five dollars is significant this time. Yeah, 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 yeah,
goddamn cap. No drag marks. Plain is too. Nice. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. What case are you on? Killer was moving around. is taken. Wait, 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 wait. Before I, before I swim. Okay, yeah, no ring is taken. some information here folks that's it nah come on folks saying you're saying it's it's nothing here I don't know what I can tell you. We'll have to talk later. Okay, I'm missing something here. Why, what, what am I missing here? That is not interacting at all. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. I could have sworn I turned all the way to the right. Really? Really? Who's this? Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Feltz, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. What you got from me, Mrs. Barton? Are you serious? Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Hobo. You mind giving me some more information on that? I don't I don't really have much. Do you have a description? 
tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. All right. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Thank you, Mrs. Barton. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. No, it's nice to get a witness. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Service. It's nice to get a witness that doesn't, doesn't lie at all. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. So y'all police be knowing where these hobo camps are, but y'all don't be doing nothing now. Crazy. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the VIT. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Wrestling. Relax. We won't find out when we solve this case. We may not be bending on the surface. At least the rain stopped. We can change back into those white bucks now. You. Let's be able to shut up. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing.
you wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? What does it say again? F1363. This is T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Where'd those two people go? We ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. They almost crashed into each other. Leave a space. Hold on. For a Here's tall man dead. with a disfigured face. Do you know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the only lead. These guys Good. can wait. Nah, no, we can't go in there. What you mean? What you talking about? Why are you following me? And that's what I thought. Slow down. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just crap? Recognize him. Rusty, don't tell me we're not investigating this. If we got the option to. Um, sir, how are you doing that?
guess being a hobo gives you powers. I haven't found one of these in a while. Right, now we can go. That I've seen everything. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. Hello. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She she had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Mm. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss.
know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Check if she was a regular. Bamman's bar. Why is this picture down? I wonder why the picture was turned down. He goes at purse. Optimistic call. You could have searched it. Everything here is going to be relevant. So don't pick it up. Not sure this means much. Two of these things. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Nope. So she went out without her handbag? Hmm. At least she was spared that particular indignity. And no lipstick or nothing. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Your shoes all muddy. We could see if Pinker can match the impression. Size eight. Size eight. Oh, that's right. It doesn't appear to be connected. No good to me. What you got in your, uh, your boat? See, you like fishing. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. Connect this, sir.
Let me give it. Excuse me. Let me give it a call. Phelps, bad twelve forty-seven. How can I help? Detective? How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks, ma'am. Rusty, if you don't get back in the house, somebody told you to come out. Nobody told you to leave me. There's more evidence on We ain't done yet. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. was out in the rain last night. So why were you out? Hmm? Why were you outside? For the record, Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Mm. Oh, now you, you, you know. Can't be anyone who knew her. See, I get tripped up on these ones. Cause they could they could be genuine. They're just hurt. They just hurt. They could be telling the truth. But nah, he's he's looking around too much. He's looking around too much. Let's see what this says. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Oh, there we go. Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. The fact that you let her go. You almost tripped me up there. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Oh, you're lying, man. You are lying. Never mind. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night, she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. 
Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. No, she wasn't. The fact that you're looking around like that and, uh... I might do... I might do bad cop, yeah. I think you're in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I think you're lying. And you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What proof do you have of that? Hmm. I don't really... This, this might be the right one, but I don't know which one. Proof that she was unhappy. I don't think I got any evidence for this. Sorry, my mistake. Spill it, Harrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What mm. time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Mm. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. Played out my hand and drove home here. Paid the sitter and went to bed. Hmm. He might be telling the truth here. He's, he's looking dead at me. The jacket and the boots say that he was out there. Says. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? He say otherwise, so... I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of these. What jacket or money? I'm gonna use the money boots. You were out in the rain. You got so oh, far. You that almost caught me. Gear. You okay, almost caught me. a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked him home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You almost I caught me to go downtown there. to identify your wet spot. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to Braj, be given to him your entire life. Sounds like Terrelson got had a last drink at Baron's bar. We should check the place out. You are very slick there, sir. Very slick. Appreciate your time, sir. But not slick enough. Can y'all stop talking about you this? You believe this guy's picture? story? Kind of rings the through. case. Car 11K, Car 11 King, commence. 
Levin King, go ahead. We have a possible sighting of a tall, disfigured figure at the Hobo Camp on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Use caution, the suspect is wanting connections to assaults on females. Hmm. That's a couple of blocks from the murder scene. Okay, go back to the hobo camp then. Actually, 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 no, 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 let's go to the bar, let's go to the bar, let's stay on top, let's go to the bar. Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. You mm -hmm. were saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. Ten Lucky lying. He's shifting a lot, but I don't think he's lying. And I don't have any information to say otherwise. On foot, in a car, by bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure, I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. I can't decide between the tuna fish and the chicken. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. Hmm. You thinking about it? You ain't too sure, buddy. I don't have any information to say otherwise. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dance. Two. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uh -huh. uniform. His cap said, uh... USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. He might be telling the truth here, too. He might be. Uh... The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help. Dance halls. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. 
LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shitbird. Come on. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. Not making it easy. Come on. Bates, we just want to talk. Don't get ran over. Come on. Got a ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Sheesh. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the victim. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Y'all better move. Let's end this farce. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tire. behind your head okay Bates you're gonna answer some questions I have a choice in this last night you went drinking with a lady in the bar now she's dead and your face is all messed up I'm in the clear on that she preferred a sailor you could lay it off on him are we finished He's lying. I don't want to see him. You sure you and the sailor didn't take her somewhere and things got out of hand? Even cops need evidence. You got nothing on me that links me to that woman. I really don't think I have anything for this. <sighs> I really don't think I have anything for this. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. Hmm. After that, I don't know. You're making that same face you made last time. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Mm. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. So we're looking for a sailor. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help the detective? How can I help, detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Thanks for your help. All right, come on, Rusty. 
on 7th Street. Let's hit it, Phelps. The cab driver might tie this whole thing together. I hope you're right. Let's head to the hobo camp first. Can't leave that out. survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. Relax. 11K, further on your ATV on yellow cab number 3591. Vehicle identified at Zeddy's Cafe, heading north on Whitmer. KGPL clear. If y'all don't Easy. move... You know, put the alarm on. It's time on. You better not turn. You did it anyway. Car 11K, your suspect vehicle, yellow cab, 3591, sighted at 6th and Valencia. You see our taxi anywhere? See the cab. Where is it? Car 11K, yellow cab 3591 was just seen leaving Dewey's car sales, driving north on Union Drive. KGBL. 3591, that's it. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fare you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It's a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? He said, the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's gonna ruin my day.
Why you got the shoddy up? LAPD! We'd like a word with you! Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists! Come to move us on and steal what little we have left! Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Sausage, see what you find. Crazy how you had a strap and I didn't. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine, too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. But they've been moving it on to addicts. And they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying. And that if this gets back to us, We'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? 
we are better trained, Jack. Mm. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. the ballroom, huh? What would you need that for? How you looked at this? I doubt it. See, you got the ooh. Oh yeah, you a prom sus. <laughs> ain't, ain't even prom no more. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. Going this way. Hey, don't mind me. I survived the war for this. Controller. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government? Puts weight like that on a man's shoulders. You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. Mm-hmm. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrelson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof. 
lackey. Come on, you're making this easy. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match, too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You're lying, Ackerman. There must be a reason. You could have killed her in the camp. My reasons are my own. Can you disprove what I say? You, uh... Huh. I don't know about you. Like I made a mistake. Hold on, I need, I, need to, I need to look at that. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. Hmm. And what did he say when he, with the accused? You're lying, Ackerman. There must be a reason. You could have killed her in the camp. My reasons are my own. Can you disprove what I say? He's not gonna budge. He, he ain't budging. You're off the hook, for now. I don't wanna use my intuition. I have one left. I'm gonna do bad cop and see what happens. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Oh, God. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. I don't want to be no crusader, though. The bus driver. I didn't see, I don't know where the bus driver was at. It was the cab driver. I don't know where the bus driver was at. But we got him, though. We got him.
But I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that here. I'm gonna leave that here. Oh, oh. Hold on. I'm gonna leave that there. Why does? Oh, excuse me. Why does steam open? I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave that there. 